dimensional beings. Go. Well, obviously, we've got three dimensions we're living in, but they've proven with these spectrometers that NASA has that there's dark matter that's five times more powerful than the matter we're living in. And so there is an outside force. That's why even the head of Bank of America said, we're held captive by some outside force. So these guys that tell you there's no God, there's no devil, there's no spiritual stuff going on, that's just ancients realizing there's more than what we can see in the limited band of our vision. It's like not even 1% right. of, of, of what's happening. And so there are multi-dimensions. We can understand three dimensions. Yeah. But it's proven that there's more than three dimensions. That's right. Right? Like space is a fourth dimension. There's 12 dimensions. Right. Okay. So, and I guess the idea of understanding space as a fourth dimension is like, if you kept on going that way in space, eventually you would wrap around yes. back to where you were. And then there's a fifth dimension, a sixth dimension, et cetera. So you think that there are beings that exist in more than the three dimensions that we exist in. That's right. Like an elevator. They're, they're able to go up and down. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, you've got the... Explain it to us dummies that don't understand. Well, no, I mean, definitely there are... Aliens don't come here on spaceships from a trillion miles away. They, they're they interdimensional, wormholes, whatever you want to call it. And the mathematics shows that they're able to come into our dimension, leave our dimension, and that the third dimension is kind of a base launch pad of the basics of the higher dimensions. And so the third dimension is is the first dimension that has real intelligence and and is and is able to evolve. Okay. And so we kind of live on the basic plane of everything that's built at the foundation. And then as you increase in dimensions, you increase in technology that allows you to explore them. Is that what you're yes, saying? Yes, but here's the problem. Plato, two thousand three hundred years ago, the big Greek philosopher, wrote a bunch of stuff they dug up that was true. Like he said, Troy was over here and this was over there. But he said out in the Atlantic Ocean there was a big base that had flying machines and, and, and unlimited power, a big white light source, but it blew up. Mm. Was it hydroelectric? Was it nuclear? We don't know. But he said there were flying machines all over the world. He described the world as round. Well, how did a guy in Greece know that? Well, he mm. had the documents. He had the original source code. And so that's what we're saying is, is that there's a lot of hidden technology, a lot of hidden history on this planet. Our planet itself is more like just a jumping off point. And it's not just for us. There's a lot of stuff that comes through here. I mean, we're kind of like in the middle of a major traffic jam with just entities and, 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 and systems and, and, and ideas. Okay. So do we have access to any of this technology? Has any of this technology permeated the things that we use? I think so. Look at all this. So this is alien technology in its most rudimentary level. It's I like think, Transformers. Mm -hmm. I've seen Transformers. Yeah. It's like the AllSpark. That's how we got our technology. That's Ooh. all this shit. Ooh. Shia LaBeouf knows. The Q. <laughs> yeah, the Q. Before there was Cybertron, yeah. there was the Q. That's your voice. Yeah. What if you were Megatron Autobots the whole time? Autobots, Transform and Roller. Yeah. <laughs> Bumblebee. <laughs> Megatron, the prepare Megatron. to die. Megatron? <laughs> Megatron. The Megatron. <laughs> Megatron. Okay, so break it down. Capitol Hill. <laughs> no, no, but seriously. <laughs> no, but you just said it, and so we all know it. What was the question before the Megatron? <laughs> <laughs> before we came to your planet, we battled on Cybertron. My name is Megatron. It sounds heller like Optimus yeah. Prime. It's yeah. crazy, right? Yeah. It's like... It's, it's you like... just said it, so we all know it. What was the question we were talking about? <laughs> Andrew Schultz, prepare for battle. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we are. Okay, so we have access to some of this alien technology, right? People, all spark. All spark. <laughs> Before there was Cybertron, there was the cube. Mm. Mm. Now, people like, let's say, uh, your boy Elon Musk, your fellow Austin native. You guys get along? <laughs> he has access to the cube. Yes, he does. Mm. Do you think he's been given certain information or has figured out certain information that the rest of us don't know? Yes, sir. It's clear Elon Musk is working with Megatron. <laughs> really? And is he try is he like part alien? Is he I believe Elon Musk is part of an alien invasion of Earth. Ooh. And what do they want ultimately? Mm. No, I like Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> Being sarcastic. This movie trailer was awesome. I like that. It is fire, to be honest with you. Does Elon Finally <laughs> on the Schultz broadcast? Alien technology is delivered. Yes, it does. Now, what does um, Guy 
colon feel like? Who's <laughs> 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 <This> guy colon? Who's <laughs> 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 <This> guy colon? <laughs> it's a very whoever, famous actor. Yeah. 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 Whoever you stole that outfit from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get serious. <laughs> <laughs> let's, get, let's get serious. What was the question? <laughs> Elon, Elon Musk, alien technology, interventional beings. How do you have proof of this? It's not just... Actually, <laughs> Elon Musk is my baby. <laughs> he's, doing, he's thinking about Danny Glover when he grabs the mic. <laughs> he's talking to Oh, hands Danny hands. Glover. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Megatron, God. prepare for battle. Yeah. No, let's get serious. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about it. Um, no. <laughs> We are creatures that live here and have a very limited spectrum of color and light. That's it. Yeah. And so everything, and I'm not putting this down, but we yeah. get this. But they now know as spectrometers and all the mathematical analysis, there's stuff below us and above us and all around us. So that's why it's such a joke. It's all about energy. It's about. So who what, has access to this? Who the globalists do. The, and who the fuck are they? Is Nancy Pelosi a globalist? Like, give oh, me no, a no, name no, no. of she's a globalist. A, she's a... A cog in the machine? Like, like when you have a, like a, one of those games you put money in and it like grabs a ball out or a doll mm. out. She's like a claw that just goes down. Mm. No, no, the, the, the problem is the globalists want mindless machines. So when you see a Chucky e. Schumer or Nancy Pelosi or any of these people, they are zombies of the system. Trump had problems. He wasn't perfect. But they were pissed at him because Trump was being Trump. Mm. They didn't like Trump because he was actually being himself. Mm, and that's why you supported him. I mean, I supported him because I supported him early on. I knew he wasn't a globalist. He wasn't perfect. But yeah, I got persecuted for supporting Trump. They had a video out last week going, leaked video of Jones saying he hates Trump. It was a film I was in. It's all lighting. I'm in there in a chair. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, if I wasn't a moral person and just cared about myself, I'd say, fuck Trump. Trump was a fucking asshole. He ruined my fucking life. Everything got horrible after Trump. It took my bank accounts away, sued me, fucking took my sponsors away. But I still support Trump because he did the right thing. They edited that part off. Mm. So that's what they do. It's just like, it's like, you know, they're like, why don't you answer for attacking Trump? It's, it's, it's all fraud. Mm. Mm. Interdimensional beings. Well, if you go back to Satanism, they kill children. And they rape women and they do all these bad things, believing in all the main literature, main history, give not your ch children the fires of Moloch, whether it was ancient Asia or ancient Middle East or ancient Africa or ancient America, ancient Europe, every culture went into a decline and started sacrificing children, normally on a pyramid to an entity. And so I, I liken it to these videos I've seen on YouTube that have hundreds of millions of views of people in the Caribbean, very close here in Florida, who go every day and feed tiger sharks, some rotten fish. And so they show up all the time. And so I liken that to this, that they sacrifice children like every day on an altar. Interdimensionally, these priests take DMT and other ayahuasca hallucinogens to eat, get rid of the veil where the brain blocks all this because you're not supposed to see all this. You go crazy. And these things only swim up like you're feeding fish in a pond when you kill a kid or you torture somebody. So that's why Satanists take drugs to end the veil, and then they torture a child on top of a pyramid at certain sites. And the more you kill children at certain sites, you're not going to wait and kill five kids for one to show up. The minute you pull that knife out, the demons show up. And so for the average human, they are projecting another dimension. They think this is, must be a god. Higher dimensional creatures would not do something like this. But if you're there... Slitting children's throats, cutting their hearts out. Germans did it. The Babylonians did it. You know, Mesoamerica did it. Every culture did it. You're doing this because you know these things show up, and then you're on hallucinogens, so they're able to mind meld with you, and they give you ideas like a wheel might be good, fire might be good, and so these things want coin that is children being murdered. So they want the interdimensional pain of the children. Interdimensional pain of the children brings them to you. You are on these drugs. It allows you to communicate with them. And through that communication, they give you these, what often happens to be creative ideas. Inspirations. Mm. So, so the iPhone has to be made in a sweatshop. <laughs> no, I mean, That's one, why we have child well, labor. That's why the people that run this Holy are evil because here's the deal. You're not just getting ideas from these aliens. These are, low, these are bad aliens. You are interfacing with them so it's their template. Mm. You're not just taking their technology. When you... Like a Graham Grimoire and Black Magic books for the Middle Ages, you pay a demon gold or it pays you to kill a kid. 
you then interface with that demon. So you think this whole satanic ritual is what happened. No, the truth was there's something more complex interdimensionally. You become a slave. So whatever they're doing is not even the, the picture. Like you think, oh, I killed a kid. I got power. That was a fake transaction. You killed a kid. You that release happens. God's protection of you. Now you're under its control. Hmm. Ah, so you do believe that God protects us. I, why is why is child sacrifice the cash in? Like, why is that the trade? Yeah. Why can't it be some other type of trade? Because the most valuable thing on this planet is our children. And if you will piss on your children, if you'll cut them up for some other entity to get power, you'll do anything. Hold, wait, can I just get a little biblical on our ass right now? Wasn't, who was it? That, <laughs> who was it that was about Mark, to kill his kid? Please. Who was about to Abraham. kill his, Abraham. Abraham was about to kill, yeah. Sacrifice Isaac. No, and God got that. God said, you, he said, kill it. And then God said, don't do it. The angel held his hand and said, there's a ram, kill that. Mm -hmm. Which that'd be like a, a week full of meat. Mm -hmm. So it's again, exactly. It's the same deal. Before every culture, African, Latin American, German, every culture, white, black, old, young, you killed kids to the deity. And God said in the Abrahamic religion, it stops now. You stop killing your kids. You know, I was in a... Uh, That's was, heavy stuff. You're a smart guy.